welcome back to my channel. As you saw from the intro, I have a new backdrop. If you watch Joan Day, I like to film a lot of unboxings in the living room and in the kitchen. And that's because there are so many windows out here, so the natural lighting is amazing. But I just never wanted to film like a main channel video with my refrigerator, microwave in the background. So I bought some colors, so you guys will be seeing some new ones. If you watched my monthly favorites, I used the yellow one. Today, I have the blue. And... We're gonna be talking about empties and I have collected so many. I haven't filmed in empties in a while. I've just been collecting them in the corner of my room and I like to put them in a nice shopping bag because they are trash and I just want it to look aesthetically pleasing in the corner of my room. So um, we have a lot to go through and to be honest, I don't think we can talk about everything in this bag today, but um, let's just get started because um, I like to keep my review short and simple and I'll just be covering how to use them and how the product benefited or if the product didn't work out for my skin. I have a lot of products in front of me right now and I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't know how to get started. Um, but I think maybe we will go by brands. So first, let's start with Innisfree and this is the Orchid Intense Cream. I have talked about this cream before on my channel but this is great for people who have dry skin. And it's a very popular product during the winter time here in Korea. So um, basically, depending on how many steps you have, you can use this at the very last step during the nighttime or you can also use this during the day before your sun cream. Innisfree has great body cleansers and they're very affordable. I think this was about 5,000 won. Um, this lasted me for a pretty long time and I like how there is a pump. So yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it, but it was a moisturizing body cleanser that I will definitely buy again. This is actually my third bottle. Innisfree, if you didn't know, actually give 500 won for each empty you bring in. So that's if you have a membership with Innisfree, but I really like the eco-friendly aspect of Innisfree as well. They are super green when you walk in and they're all about like recycling and I'm very happy that it is like one of my favorite skincare brands. Moving on to Cozorex, let's talk about these pads. This is the pimple pads and the moisture up pads. BHA, AHA. So AHA is great for recovering the skin on the outer layer and this is great for the inner. These are great gentle exfoliants that you can use every single day and if you follow me around the world on Joan Day, you probably see me take these around all the time. They are my in-flight essentials and they are also my travel essentials because they are very convenient to take around with me. I also have that little case that I could put the pads in so you probably saw that one. The next Cozorex product that I see is this one right here. This is the Salicylic Acid Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, salicylic acid can sometimes be very harsh on my skin and it can also sometimes be drying depending on the product and brand. Um, but Cozorex, I love it. It's super gentle. And basically, I would recommend you use this at night in the morning. Go for the low pH good morning cleanser. I don't know if I have that in here. Probably not. I talked about it so much that now I just kind of threw it away because you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about it. But anyway, um, this is a cleanser that I didn't really talk too much about on my channel, but now that it is an empty, I am finally sharing with you guys that it is a great product. Next, we have the pimple patches, and this is like a product that appears in pretty much every single one of my empties videos, but that's because I go through them so quickly. So I wasn't going to talk about about them again today but in one of my vlogs I received a pimple patch from Angel Undy and those ones are a lot thinner and the reason why I'm talking about this now is these are still great. The reason why I said um, pimple patches that actually work is because I have tried so many and there are ones that don't work. But this one, along with the one Angel Ani gifted me, they're great. These are my go-to pimple patches as of late. And I personally like using this one at night because they are much thicker. The one she gave me is thinner, so I actually wear them out during the daytime. A question that I got asked a lot was, what is her brand? Um, 
she got it at her local pharmacy and I tried to go to mine downstairs and they didn't have it so I guess it really depends on which pharmacy you go to um, but I haven't found one in Seoul yet but that's because I don't really walk into pharmacies as often I have four Cosrx Centella blemish creams and these are my brother's holy grail products. Centella is a popular ingredient for acne and it's very gentle so I do like them. I recommend you only use this at night because it does leave a white cast and um, yeah you'll wake up to brighter skin and I really like this cream. So if you also want to use the patches, I recommend that after your skincare routine, apply this on those areas, wait about an hour or so, and then put on the sticker because if it's wet, the sticker just kind of like slides around the face. You definitely don't want that. So wait a little bit if you want to double the process of healing your acne. Next I have the Birch Sap Lotion and this is a emulsion. So this isn't a cream like the Innisfree one right here but this is basically step one for people who like to double their moisture. This is formulated with 70% birch sap and if you didn't know birch sap is great for moisture and yeah it's very gentle so I do like this and I do have another birch sap product right here and it is this one. It's the Birch Juice Hydro Mist and this is by E Nature. Um, to talk about this mist a little bit I liked to just carry this around with me on day when it felt really dry outside. This is a great mist for all skin types and if you want a little extra moisture, I would recommend it. Here is the Moringa Cleansing Balm and this actually won the Best of Beauty for Soko Glam last year and I finally finished using it and I have tried a lot of cleansing balms. I will say that this kind of felt more hydrating on the skin. So the Vanillica one, for example, it melted off my makeup beautifully, but it stung my eyes. Hamish one was pretty good. I actually don't have any complaints about that one, but I would say that this one is very similar to the Hamish one. So depending on what your budget is for a cleansing balm, look into those two. And finally, we have the vitamin C drop, and I'm gonna review it with the Claire's one as well. So this one, when I first tried it, I didn't really um, see a difference like the Claire's. So this was the very first vitamin C product that I ever tried, and I remember seeing a difference the next day. But I think because I had tried this product before, when I woke up the next morning after trying this, I didn't see a significant difference. But this one does have 20.5% vitamin C. It is highly concentrated, way more than this one right here. And you do have to keep this in the refrigerator, so you have to take extra good care of it. When I first talked about this product in an empties video, I remember not being so fond of it, but I did have a chance to try it again. And when I used it more frequently, because last time I was traveling and it was just sitting in my refrigerator, um, I didn't really see the full benefits but when I used this for two weeks straight I did notice that my skin was getting a lot brighter and yeah it helped fade acne scars and in comparison to this one this is also formulated with Centella Asiatica which is one of my favorite ingredients for acne and to be honest I can't tell a major difference in these two um, I know this one is more concentrated with vitamin C but for me this one is just my first love so I can't say oh just go with the triple C vitamin C drop because I still use this from time to time as you can see this is looking very yellow right now it is a clear product but throughout time it does oxidize and when it's oxidized I just personally don't want to use it um, I did read somewhere that it is okay but when you use a product on the back of the bottle, it has a little container with an open lid. So that basically means that in 12 months, you have to finish it. Some products have 6M, some have 8M. I thought I completely finished this, but I guess I had a few drops left, but that's good because in this video, I can show you guys what it looks like when it is oxidized. 
If you don't know when to use a vitamin C drop, apply this after the toner instead of a essence or serum, or you can mix this in with your moisturizer. But personally, I do like to use this droplet and one, two, three, four, and then pat it dry. Oh my gosh, this one also oxidized and it's like a brown color. Such a different, wow. Oh, that's so interesting. We have another BHA product and this is the ASOL. Um, to be honest, I didn't finish using this product. I thought it was a gentle BHA toner, but my brother absolutely like fell in love with this the moment he tried it on. Like the next morning he was like, the BHA works. And um, Heyong from Cozarex actually tells me that this is her holy grail product as well because it really helped with her acne. But this is a non-drying acne product for people who have sensitive skin. It smells like alcohol, so I wasn't really a fan, but I mean, it works, so if you're okay with it, yeah, this definitely smells like alcohol. Let's take a quick break from the positive review and let me share some products that I did not like. Um, Innisfree, Cozorex, E Nature are brands that I really liked after trying them, but there are a few from different brands that I just absolutely did not like. Waste of money. So this one right here is the Nature Republic One Minute Dry Shampoo. And I still have some left in here because I was just like, this isn't dry shampoo, it's just like hair perfume. Fume. And I like it says Kirim Jin Mori Wian Ilbun Kingup Chabang. It's for people who have oily scalps and it's to control that, but it didn't do that. So um, if you're looking for a good dry shampoo, definitely don't try this one out. Next, I have the Belief Peat Miracle Revital Eye Cream, and this is a very popular one apparently, but personally, I didn't really care for it. So I did an ultimate eye cream review. If you haven't watched, click up there for that. Um, and people were like, what about the belief one? Because apparently so many people um, heard great things about this. But I think after trying out so many different eye creams, um, I just wasn't impressed by this one at all. Um, it didn't feel very moisturizing underneath my eye. And I did finish it because this one is very expensive. Belief is not cheap. I wouldn't say that this is better than the industry one and I am very loyal to that eye cream because it's only $25. Most eye creams cost like over $50 and that one was just so impressive to me because it's affordable and it worked. Next we have the Hwamisa by Glow Recipe Toner. Now when I first tried it, I absolutely loved it and I think I even included this in a favorites video. But now, um, if I look back at it, this is why I like to review products when I finish them because now I have something to compare it to. So Hamisa has this beautiful toner and it smells so good and it's great for layering. The seven skin method was really popular at one point in time and it's basically a method where you layer toner seven times and you will basically benefit from drinking up the goodness of from a product and you will feel more moisturized. But throughout time, I did notice that in comparison to other toners, um, this one just kind of felt like water to me. In the beginning, I liked it, but later I just felt like it just didn't feel special to me. Um, it didn't break me out. It is formulated with green tea, kale antioxidants, hyaluronic acid, broccoli, um, all great ingredients for people who have acne and acne prone skin. This is great for, I think, all skin types types but personally in comparison to other toners that I have tried it just didn't feel like it was doing anything to be honest so yeah I feel really sad because um, I loved it in the beginning but I think I loved it because I was layering and layering and layering but I feel like a good toner should feel great after one layer and not seven so um, I felt like this was only special because the seven skin method was having its moment and yeah not a fan anymore. I have a Huxley product and it is this Secret of Sahara Grab Water. It's an essence. Um, Huxley has like this great oil right here, super moisturizing. And whenever I use this, I didn't have to follow up with a moisturizer sometimes because it just felt so smooth and like mochi. Um, so yes, this is a great product and I would highly recommend it for people who um, 
have sensitive skin. Um, this is a great oil that didn't feel heavy on the skin and I just loved using this. I would use toner and then follow up with this oil and I was good. It was a two-step routine when I had this product. But um, yeah, in comparison to the oil, I just like don't see this essence feeling any special. It kind of felt like this, just too watery. Yes, it kept my skin moisturized, didn't break me out, which is a big factor for me. And I did finish using it because it wasn't bad. But for the price of this product, I just don't think it's worth it. I think they are similar in the price range, but this oil is holy grail. Like I love this product so, so much. Um, but this Huxley one, I didn't really care for it. Speaking of Huxley, let's talk about the Secret of Sahar Cleansing Gel. This was great. Um, I will complain about this though, the packaging. It was just sitting on my bathroom counter, but it like broke one day, so I was so confused. But yes, Huxley, uh, this cleansing gel is amazing. It smells so good. I mean, we're trying to talk about products I did not like, but since we were on Huxley, um, Huxley products, I just love the scent of it. and. I really like the branding. The packaging is super minimal and even for the ingredients, they like to make sure it's very rich. Um, but yes, those two products were great, but not the essence. The final product that I did not like is, oh, I actually have two more products I don't like. Um, let's start with this one right here. This is the Chosonga highlighter. And this was really cool because you just squeeze the product out. Um, but the reason why I'm gonna put this in my didn't like list is because it's just overhyped to me like if you tried western beauty brands of highlighters this is like this was nothing in comparison to that so i just didn't see like let me just show you like the highlight is there oh it just feels so sticky on my hand it smells like baby powder i'm not like a Huge fan of the way baby powder smells. Wasn't a fan of this. Um, the final product I did not like is this hand cream from A-Land. There are great hand creams out there. This is $2, but I just felt like I had to keep applying it on my hands because there was like absolutely no moisture. But there are some other hand creams that I did test out. As you guys can tell, I love hand cream. These two were gifted to me by subscribers and I really liked how moisturizing they were. Um, Lokshitang never disappoints. And these are $10 more expensive than the others, but I'd say they are worth the money. Um, this one is a mild moisture. I think this was also given to me by a subscriber. And um, this one was also given to me by a subscriber. Actually, so many of you guys know that I love hand cream, so thank you. If you feel like you have to keep reapplying a hand cream after every 30 minutes that's when you know like it's a waste of money and this one right here is the Pyongyang Yu one I'm going to talk about Pyongyang Yu now um, Pyongyang Yu hand cream was also really good I really like how this one kind of looks like Aesop very moisturizing and this is the therapy oil so if you have dry skin and you want to double that moisture after you get out of the shower an oil and a moisturizer is highly recommended i tried this out finished using it and it was great for the winter time and um, i did have the lotion but now like my ex has it because he has like eczema so i was like you should try this one he absolutely loved it but like yeah i don't know why we got to that talk but that was a little awkward because I never talked about it on my channel. But Eddie and I filmed a Get Ready With Me kind of talking about that, like briefly. Um, but yes, Pyongyang Yu is great for people who have sensitive skin. And it is a medicinal brand for people who have sensitive skin types. So people who have eczema, people who have acne, look into this brand. Moving on, let's talk about Elizabeth and James. So I love Nirvana White. It smells so good, very chic. Um, and this roller ball, I love taking it around with me everywhere and touching up throughout the day. But this perfume oil, I wasn't a big fan of um, because it smells slightly different than the perfume. I was reviewing these products right here and my memory card is full. So let me just quickly change that for you guys so I'm sorry if the uh, transitions a bit awkward I'm sorry about that um, I filmed a vlog with this camera and I forgot to like take it out so um, using this new memory card right here if you just want to smell super super strong then I would say go with 
the oil, follow up with the lotion, and then go with like a perfume. I do have the perfume bottle and an extra one of these because I just cannot leave the house without a rollerball, and this is my favorite one. So Elizabeth and James is one of my favorite scents, and I just wanted to share share that with you guys in this video. Let's talk about the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I completely finished using this bottle, and I have another one because this is one of my favorite Jo Malone scents along with the peony one. This is a very fresh scent that I liked using during the summer and springtime but now that it is getting really cold um, I think I'm gonna go for more musky scents but I would say that this is like my year-round go-to but right now I have also been obsessed with Lolabo Santal so yeah I love perfumes still have so many products left. Shall we talk about Lush products or should we save them for the next time? Let's end with Lush products. Here is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. This was a gift from Edward and this is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. They both smell the same. This is a typical shower gel. Use it while you shower to wash up and then this body conditioner was amazing um, you basically at the end of your body care you just apply this and like quickly rinse off and pat dry so this is a great product for the winter time because that's when my skin just feels extra dry i actually finished using this i thought it would be impossible when i first saw it but um, like when your body needs moisture you just kind of have to give it what it wants and finally we have the whoosh shower jelly so this was the blue jello looking soap and this was just like really fun to use and i really like the scent of it it felt very fresh I really like Lush because it's a cruelty free brand and like packaging like this one, it was made from 100% recycled plastic. So I really like the eco-friendly aspect of it as well. So that's it for my empties video. I hope you guys found my short and simple reviews helpful. I'll make sure to link everything in the description box as always and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Baby like a sculpture, renaissance era, work of art.